And it was really exciting, getting the day-by-day -day, uh, accounts. It was a great um, week in which to pull off personal bests. If you were going to pull off a personal best, that was the time to do it. And I know that a, a, a lot of people here uh, were following, uh, in some cases, as best they could uh, on, the, uh, on the races. But uh, the, the pride that went across Bermuda and across a lot of people, I guess, in Canada and Britain and elsewhere where people uh, know you uh, was almost tangible. Uh, so massive congratulations. Uh, and on a slightly sort of wider point, uh, I know that a lot of people went to the uh, Paralympics in Britain, sell out crowds, uh, a lot of people going to see the competition, getting really caught up in the excitement of the competition, and living in the moment, and it was quite a moment. But clearly, I mean, everyone understands for the Olympics and the Paralympics, the years of practice, of sacrifice, of training, of effort uh, that goes into it, uh, and that it doesn't stop, because I have a feeling that Jessica is, as we speak, beginning to brush up in her Portuguese. Uh, 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 the, but more widely, and this is an occasion where uh, we have representatives of a lot of disability-related organizations in Bermuda. There's a lot of work that goes on day by day, month by month, year by year. Uh, and a lot of it uh, is uh, not always all that visible. And uh, I hope that members of these organizations, uh, like many other people in Bermuda and around the world enjoyed the excitement of the Paralympics. But I hope also it's an occasion uh, where the different organizations can, uh, to some extent, recharge batteries and uh, uh, build on the wider public attention that came from the Paralympics. It is true that I came last in every race, but it is also true that I knew I would. I knew the medal was beyond my reach at this point. I knew that I did not have the strength and or necessary muscle mass. I knew that I had almost no chance against the older and more experienced racers. But I also knew that I would put everything I had into this impossible task because this was the beginning of my future. At 19 and in my first Paralympic Games, I was not thinking of the present, but planning for the future. I would learn, understand, and improve in this cauldron of fire and be ready for Rio in four years time. Now that took courage. To put myself out there on a world stage, knowing that expectations at home are so high, that's courage that inspires. I can also be proud of my results. In the 100 meter final, I was only 2.96 seconds away from gold. And in the 200 meter final, only 5.58 seconds away. This is a magnificent achievement by any standards and means I am the one to watch in future competitions. <laughs> and I can come away from this competition knowing I was one of eight in the world that reached the qualification standards for the London 2012 Paralympic Games. My name is Jessica Lewis, and I'm a Paralympian. And that is something no one can take away from me. I earned the right to this title. I put my heart and soul into training and worked extremely hard to get there. You too can achieve anything you want if you're willing to put in the time, the dedication, and the hard work. We arrived in London on August 25th and spent the next three days training on the practice track and getting used to the time change. Then finally, August 29th arrived, the opening ceremonies of the London 2012 Paralympic Games. That morning, I was fitted for the holder that would hold the Bermuda flag. We were, usher we were ushered to the stadium in alphabetical order by country, and as I got closer and closer to the stadium, I couldn't believe I was finally here, and I was about to enter the stadium with 80,000 spectators more than the population of our country. The sound from outside the stadium was, as we approached, was indescribable. When we made it to the stadium, I was given the Bermuda flag and I got teary. This was the moment I had been working for. 10 minutes later, we entered the stadium and nothing could have prepared me for how I felt. The pride of carrying Bermuda's flag into the stadium at the highest level of competition for a para-athlete was awesome. So we had uh, the Bermuda team consisted of Dr. Annabelle Carter, who was my medic and physiotherapist, my mom, Lorraine Lewis, who came as the chef de mission, 
Jenny Southern as the secretary of the Bermuda Paralympic Association, Ken Tom as my coach, Aunt Lynn Droth, which is, who is the president of Bermuda Paralympic Association, and then uh, Mark Wheeler, who is the photographer, DJ Lowe, who was the journalist, and my dad, Mark Lewis, and my Aunt Carol Olson were also there as cheerleaders. The opening ceremony show was, o was about overcoming disabilities. There were actors in wheelchairs, some with prosthetic legs and arms, little people, blind people with their guide dogs, and lots more with varying degrees of ability. The atmosphere was amazing. After the opening ceremonies, I had to wait another four days before I would enter the stadium to compete in my first race, the 100 meter. I had to be in the first call room 40 minutes before my schedule.